every time I get a Citizen in for review, I am always impressed. And I'm always comparing them to Seiko. And there's a lot of good reasons for that. Seiko have always been at the top of the list for a lot of people for affordable dive watches. However, today we're gonna to take a look at a super titanium automatic version of the ProMaster dive watch. And I have to say, this is gonna give the Tuna a run for its money. So today we're taking a look at the Citizen ProMaster dive automatic in super titanium. This is an ISO certified dive watch that gets a 9000 series automatic movement inside. I am very excited that Citizen are now using the 9000 series in a lot of their watches. So this is a serious dive watch. As I mentioned, it is ISO certified. It comes with a dive extension, which is pretty cool. It's not a straightforward dive watch though. It has a lot of character. So it is definitely a serious dive watch, but when you look at it, there is a lot of character to this watch. It has lots of textures and colors. It's not boring at all. So immediately you're going to notice that bright yellow minutes hand. And you also have a yellow and white running seconds hand and it has a lollipop. That lollipop is in that same bright yellow. And then you get that yellow again, right below the 12 o'clock index, that V that is applied and filled with loom. And then the hour hand, that's in a bright white. So this is very easy to read against that dark fume background. You also get a beautiful bezel on this watch and it has tons of details. First, starting in the center of the bezel, you have a minute track. Then there is the actual insert. That insert has a pyramid texture on it. Then you have screws. Those screws are holding in the bezel insert and the indices are actually carved into the bezel. You also get a very large pip at the 12 o'clock and there's sort of a triangle. It's not really a triangle. It actually mimics the uh, indices on the dial. So the indices are also sort of half circles. They have a silver surround and those are filled with loom. Beautiful texture on the dial, same texture that you're getting on the bezel and it is in a fume pattern. So this is a blue dial, but it's blue and black. The bezel itself is black. This entire case, as I mentioned, is in super titanium. However, this super titanium has a dark DLC coating on it. You also get that on the buckle which is loomed. I have not seen this from a major brand. I'm sure others have done it, but this is cool. Uh, that pattern, again, carried into the strap itself. So that pattern that you're seeing on the bezel and dial goes into the strap. So really lots of details on this watch that are really well done. You have a very angular case and it's sort of shrouded. So it's almost shrouding the bezel. The bezel is extremely grippy. You could see the grooves in the bezel. This is very, very grippy. You get a giant crown that is screwed down, that is signed with the ProMaster logo. That is also very grippy. And of course you get a screwed in case back because this gets 200 meters of water resistance. It just gives you specs on the case back. Really nice, actually very flat. So it's not incredibly thick, uh, even though it's a very big, robust, dive watch. And this is not a small watch, but I have to say it doesn't wear very large. You have very short lugs on here and they also put an integrated bracelet or strap, I should say, that wears really close to the wrist. And that's part because of the case design as well. It also wears very close to the wrist. Let's quickly do some measurements and then we will talk about price. We'll do a loom shot. Uh, and I'll throw it on my wrist so you could see what it looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist. I'll also show you the watch that I have on my wrist, which is also made out of super titanium. And I've been wearing it on and off for a few months now, and it's actually holding up really well. I'll show you that. So this is 46.2 millimeters. This is a 46 millimeter watch at the bezel itself. It's 44 millimeters, basically. Thickness on here, including the domed or double domed sapphire crystal, 14.6 millimeters, and then you have a very large crown of 7.4 millimeters. The lug to lug on here is 50.3. And then of course you do have an effective lug to lug, but I don't know what you would actually measure that at because it does not wear like the effective lug to lug of, you know, 60 millimeters. It does not wear anywhere near that. So uh, it's kind of a weird measurement. Uh, very quickly, let's do bezel action. Then I'm gonna throw it on my wrist and then we'll do a loom shot and talk about price. Now the bezel on here is very grippy. You could basically grip it from anywhere. 
It's very, very solid. It's titanium, so it's not extremely loud. The clicks aren't very loud, but they're very pronounced. It's a 60 click bezel, feels very good. Uh, overall, very impressed with this watch. When I first saw this in prototype form, I fell in love with it. This is cool. Now, the price on here, I think at retail is $1,095. Right now, if you go on the Citizen website, they have it for $876. Considering you're getting a 9,000 series inside, not like a 6R that you get from Seiko, that is not a great movement. The 9,000 series is. So I really love this watch. I think this is pretty great. So very quickly, let me throw it on my seven and a half inch wrist. You could see what it looks like. Today I have on another ProMaster Dive Automatic. Uh, this one is with the bracelet on it. So the bracelet version of this watch is a little bit more expensive. It's like $12.95 at retail, but uh, I think they have that on sale as well for $10.36 or something like that. Here is the Super Titanium Dive Master Automatic. This is the reference number NB, so Nancy Boy 6005-05L. That's this specific version. The other version looks more like this watch. It has a uh, regular titanium color rather than a DLC black color. However, I think this one looks phenomenal. And you can see on my seven and a half inch wrist, it does not wear very big at all. And in fact, it's extremely comfortable, I have to tell you. It is very light and it looks phenomenal. I am really impressed with this watch. Citizen have been knocking it out of the park. They have literally just been taking notes, I think over the past few years, and they have been coming out with watch after watch that is killing it. And this is awesome. Very quickly, let's do a loom shot and check out the loom on the buckle. I am very excited about that. Well, the loom definitely does not disappoint here. It's very, very bright, very liberally applied to the indices and hands. You have a little lollipop on the second hand, that is loom, and then you have a pip in the bezel, which is a very large pip, and you have very good orientation in the dark. Excellent, excellent job with the loom. And then of course you have the loom buckle, which is the entire uh, Citizen logo. So, so man, they really did a great job with loom on this watch. That is pretty cool. That's one of the first times I've seen a loomed buckle on uh, a major brand, Citizen, Seiko, any brand really. I, I don't see that very often. That is pretty awesome. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I really think Citizen have been listening. They've been making some changes to their watches. They've been coming out with watches like this and really just getting the specs and details spot on. And obviously there is no misalignment with this watch. Everything lines up perfectly. It's an $876 watch or it's an $1,100 watch. It doesn't matter. The quality control was done properly and it really is a very good looking, functional and comfortable watch. Not only that, it has a lot of special details at that price. I think that's a very good price for this watch. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I'll put a link to this watch on the uh, Citizen website, so definitely check them out if you are interested in this watch. Uh, like I said, currently they have it on sale. I don't know how long they will keep it on sale, but currently it is on sale for $876, which I think is an amazing price for this watch. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, it is super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.